In this tutorial, you will learn how to operate the Visual Fault Locator, VFL, the Light Source, and the Power Checker function integrated into the AXS120. To access those tools from the main menu, tap the three-line menu. To activate the VFL, tap on the diode icon. Tap on the toggle if you want to use the blinking mode. Press the Start button to activate the light. A blinking icon and a red banner clearly indicate when the VFL is on. Tap the Stop button to deactivate. Please note that the VFL function will work preferably using a UPC cable. To activate the power checker, after connecting your optical source to the input port, select the gauge icon from the main menu. If you haven't yet set thresholds for your measurements, go to Settings, then select Power Checker Thresholds, then choose whether they apply to all wavelengths or set specific minimum and maximum thresholds individually. Then, to enable a threshold, tap the toggle to change the value. Tap on the threshold, then enter the desired value. Tap the wavelength at the bottom of the window to select the one that matches your source. Start the light emission on your source to view the measurements. You can use the AXS handheld OTDR as a light source to perform measurements with a power meter. From the main menu, tap the light icon. Select a wavelength by tapping on it and changing the value as needed. Select a modulation by tapping on it and selecting one type from the available choices. Then, if you want to use a timer, toggle the timer feature, then input the number of minutes you want the source to emit light. Tap the Start button. A blinking icon and a red banner clearly indicate when the light source is emitting. Make sure to stop the light emission right after finishing your test to save battery. If using a timer, the light will turn off when it reaches zero. For more assistance on this subject, scan the QR code on the unit to quickly access support resources.